I'm pro anger Andy Montgomery. I've been making my living with Strike King products for a long time. So when they showed me the new Tour Grade line, I was all in. I knew I could trust it. What I didn't know was how easy it was to use. With the spooling tool and the prepaid envelope to recycle your old line included in every single box, not only is it the best line on the market, it gives you the easiest fishing experience possible. Find out more at StrikeKing.com. Hi, I'm Neil Vandebeesen. I'm up north fishing with Michigan Outdoors. And uh, it's late fall, the water is cold. Uh, we're using Rage Swimmers 3.75. Um, earlier this morning, we were using a 3.75 with a three quarter ounce head. And I'm gonna tell you a little why. Uh, this morning we were fishing in 38 foot of water. Um, so you need that heavier head to get down to the fish, uh, fish it more efficiently. And, and get and spend more time in the strike zone. Um, this afternoon, we are throwing a 3 8 and eight foot catching them. Uh, this technique with the swimmers um, works best and probably in 50, 50 degree water um, on down. Um, it works for early spring and late fall. Um, if you uh, come up or go to any clean water lake uh, for largemouth or for for smallmouth as long as the water's cold. Um, th this is a really great bait to, to go to. Okay, we talked about a little bit about how great this bait is in cold water situations. Now we're gonna talk about how to use it and when to use it. Uh, this morning when we're throwing the three quarter, uh, basically we were, we were keen in on bait, finding the fish on our locators and then going back, making very, very long casts with it to get it down, to keep it down, and slow reeling it. I mean slow, painfully slow, to keep it down. Naturally, when you're 38 foot, you're way up here, so it wants to raise the bait, raise the bait, and you have the three quarter ounce to keep it down, but occasionally it still wants to rise. You wanna make sure you stay where the fish are, because in cold water, they're not coming way up to get it most of the time most of the time now this afternoon we were we, when they when they came up on the flats we were we were looking for them on sand spots and that's when we were throwing the three eighths ounce so again you're making long casts letting it fall popping it up off hopefully you're on a clean clean area but if they're sand grass or, or cabbage or whatever you pop it through there and then you get a nice steady retrieve and you're bringing it steady and then if you're ticking it off a weed it's just like a anything else a tube or a yami you're popping it out of there to try to get them to react again so that's how you're doing that shallow and and also deep too if you get hung on some sand grass and you pop it out a lot of times your bites will come out when it after they've tracked it for 20 or 30 feet and, and you pop it up so you know and and that'll vary it depends on how how cold the water is and 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 how the fish are that day so you you just gotta kind of find the retrieve that they want for that day